Hey everybody, I'm Peanut Butter Gamer, and welcome back to another episode of PVG Sucks at Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we beat a couple bosses, and we unlocked the fountain. It's called the fountain because there's water, baby. But yes, let's head into the fountain and see how many stars we can get. Okay, so we got this galaxy, which is the first one we we're able to unlock here. Space Junk Galaxy. Galaxy. So let's go over to the Space Junk Galaxy. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be like a pull star. Like one of the ones where you hold A to pull and then you get the star. It's going to be one of those. You'll see. Look at all those rock poops floating around. Those big rock poops. Okay, so here we are. Welcome to the galaxy. Why, thank you so much, Jesse, because we got these things going on here. And, uh, what does it want me to do? Oh, okay, it wants me to spin, okay. So yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of that stuff. And I could really use these star bits. I don't have that many. So I gotta get as many as I can. So yeah, this is what I was planning on having to do a lot of. Uh, basically just maneuvering through different things. Oh no, I let go. I shouldn't have let go. Crap me. Thank you. That was close. Uh, I thought I had to let go. No, it's just dropping me back to the place I was previously. That's not nice. Uh, okay, I guess I'm not supposed to land on that thing. I don't know why I was trying to. That's probably why it wasn't working. Here we are. Okay, so we gotta get some of these things. We're on a bunch of balls. We're just on a bunch of balls right now. It's no big deal. I'm running in a circle for some reason. We're on a bunch of balls with some smaller electric shiny balls behind them. I'm gonna get that one last. But this one's the hardest. It's only hard because I'm trying to run on a little circle ball and I can't tell what direction I'm going in. Okay, so we got it. Let's move on. Booyah! Oh, star bits! Star bits! Get them! Okay, so now we're on a rocket for some reason. We could probably just use this thing to fly around. That'd probably be pretty helpful. But no, we just rock. We just walk on the rocket. That makes more sense. Oh. Okay, so these are like little balls with the pull thingies in them. That's just just the way it is, you know. Sorry about it. Here's the rock poops I was mentioning earlier. A totally just big rock poops. I don't know. Maybe I'm being immature, but that's what I'm seeing right now. Oh, quick! Grab on! Okay. You don't let go because it doesn't like it when you do that. Right, this is actually pretty close to where the star is, I think. Ouch, I got hit. I'm just gonna ignore these guys. These guys are crazy. These guys are just crazy. I don't even want to talk to them. Wow, everybody's frozen! I mean, I guess that's what this- I, I never really wasn't sure if this was supposed to be ice or crystals, I mean... I guess it's ice. I don't know. I never really thought about it that much. Well, let's save everybody no, either way. And, um, we'll save the Goomba too. Just because. He's not hurting me yet. Oh, and here comes Captain Toad. Thinking he's so great he can be the captain of the freaking ship. And I mean, I'm the one with all the Star Trek experience. And he probably hasn't even seen a single episode. He probably doesn't even know how to captain a ship. I use the John Luke card skin in Minecraft, so I'm pretty sure I know a little bit more than this guy. Let's jump on his head a few times. That works. What's up, man? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. There we go. Da -da -da -da! Mr. Mario, as the brave captain of the town, again. I already discovered the torque of the mountain. Take this link here in the town this week. Okay, well, thank you so much, Toad. I love you. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna be one of those things where they like place the blocks in front of you as you're moving. That can be a little bit scary, but it's not so bad. And then we gotta pick up these five stars. That's what we're doing. I remember what we're doing. So collect five silver stars and you get a gold star. That's how the commerce works in Mario universe. Five silveries equals the gold. That's, it's, uh, I almost fell. I was close. I'll stop talking now. Okay, so this is the fourth one. And now we only need one more for the first power star of the episode, which would be a relatively fast power star. Some of the stars in this game are longer than, uh, Mario 64, so I'm not sure um, how many episodes this series is gonna be, but we'll see. It'll probably be about the same as the last one. Okay, so we got a power star! Um, why did they have to throw it all the way over there? Come on, give me a break here. Okay, so I guess I'll make my way back. 
And that wasn't so bad. Here we are. So the first Power Star of this episode, I believe that is Power Star number 11. So far, keeping track relatively well. I know you guys are just so impressed with me. Okay, start of 11. High score updated. I love the high scores in this game. It's like, high score. You got three coins. Big freaking deal. You obviously were not trying at all. Yeah, no, let's not save the game. I, I, I usually don't, I usually try to not save the game just on the off chance that something happens with the footage and I have to re-record it. Um, so I try not to. Oh yes, Rolling Green Galaxy, I totally want to do this one. I love this mechanic in this game. I mean, a lot of people didn't like this kind of stuff. I think this stuff is super fun. I say that now, if I die a bunch, I mean, watch me die a bunch and start complaining about it. But, I don't know, I think that these little rolling segments are pretty fun. It kind of reminds me of Wind Waker uh, when you uh, uh, roll, you blow the ball on that one island where you blow, use the deck of leaf to blow the ball into the hole. I mean, it's just like golf. It kind of reminds me of that though. Except instead of blowing it with a deck of leaf, you're riding on top of it. Hey, now if you're thinking about just rolling that ball away, you'd better listen to old Billboard. Uh, shut up, Billboard. You're the least punny board I've ever seen. Actually, it's probably the most punny board I've ever seen, to be fair. Alright, now hold th this straight up. I did it. I did it. Right, that's it. I know how to do it. You basically just hold the Mimo straight in the air, and just, uh, you walk. You tilt it. I know how to play. I love this music. I'm being very negative. I will say that I love this music. Okay, I'm gonna go through this as quickly as I can. Just gonna just roll through it. That's basically how I do all of these things. Like, all of these motion control things and all the slide levels Mario 64. I just try to see how fast I can get through, which apparently is not very fast, because I can't even get down this freaking hole! Are you kidding me right now? Okay, there we go. Go, Mario! Faster! Whee! Even Mario's a ball now. We went so fast that even Mario bees a ball. Okay. I'm gonna roll and jump! Oh, what an epic maneuver! Oh, I'm losing control here. Okay, just kidding. Ah, I fell! Oh well. What are you gonna do about it? I actually don't mind dying because I like this level so much that I don't even care if I have to replay it. Let's just do it some more. Oh, that was... Well, no, wait. It wasn't that one that I was having trouble. It was this one that I was having trouble getting into for some reason. Like, look at all these coins. And I'm gonna get, like, five of them. Watch my high score be, like, five. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time and jump! And we're back to where we were before. Let's take it a little bit slower around this corner here. It's a little trickier than it looks. Let's take the hard route and get the coin. Get the big coin. I don't even really remember what those do in this game. Oh, okay. Jump, Mario! Jump, Mario! Oh, it just makes the star bits appear. Which I can't even control this thing well enough to get them right now. Yes! I was gonna say, quick, launch me before the freaking... Uh, before the Goomba hits me. Was that it? I wanted to do more of it. Man. I wanted to do more. Oh, well, there's more levels where you get to do that. Uh, one of them in particular is a lava level, I remember. And it's much longer than that. That's a fun little mechanic. It's basically just an introduction to the little ball rolling mechanic in Mario Galaxy. We should get some more of that later. I, I have definitely heard some people say negative stuff about it. I think it's fun. But, I mean, what do I know? Galaxy complete! Well, there was only one star in it, so it wasn't that hard. So we have 12 stars now, two in this episode. I think we have plenty of time to get another one. Let's, in fact, let's go straight to the new galaxy we just unlocked because I cannot remember what it is. I wasn't planning on doing this, but let's do it anyway. Whatever it is, I'm just gonna click on it. Battle Rock Galaxy, let's do it. What is this one again? I, my memory is like not the best. Sometimes I remember and then sometimes I don't. Let's see. I'm sh I know I have to have done this one. This is too early in the game. I haven't gotten all the stars in this game, but this is way too early in the game for me to have skipped a level, I think. I do recognize this. Uh, let's let's just check it out and see how it goes. Yeah, I've definitely done this before. It's still it's still pretty hazy in my memory though. Okay, so we got one. Gotta get these guys. Oh, this time it spawned coins. Wow. Uh, I can't run in space circles very well. It's, it's so much harder than it looks. Get away from me, little UFO guys. Jeez. Okay, long jump. That did not do what I was expecting it to do. Ah, can't even... There we go. Okay. This is called PPG Sucks at Mario Galaxy. Uh, I mean, it's sometimes it's hard to not suck at Mario Galaxy. It's a great game, amazing game. 
But the, if I had to complain about one thing, is that sometimes when you're on, like, little circular islands... Oh, these are my uh, planets, I mean, not islands. I'm used to Wind Waker collection series. Uh, not islands, but planets. Sometimes it's hard, because, like, you start running in one direction, all of a sudden you, like, start just running in circles, because you're trying to move around. It's hard to explain. I mean, if you played the game, you probably know what I'm talking about. But, uh, it's hard to explain if you haven't actually played. Okay, so let's launch! This one, I don't think this is that long of a level. We'll see. Bounce. Whee! That was fun! What do these little things do? Nothing, I guess. Okay, that's a little screw, and don't ask me how. Okay, well, they're electric. Don't ask me how, but Mario it apparently doubles as a screwdriver. I mean, makes sense if you're in space. I mean, because physics are different in space. So, I mean, maybe you could be a screwdriver. Have you been in space? Probably not. So don't try and tell me they couldn't happen if you haven't even been. Okay, so this is basically just going to be a little obstacle course. I don't think this is going to be that difficult, but uh, we will see. You got to, like, just run on different sides of this. That's what those electric things are. I don't know how will I get to the top with all the electricities. Oh, well, okay. I'm sitting here making fun of it, and then I just get it. So maybe I shouldn't make fun of it too much. Okay, so electricity coming up. Let's just run down and run back up. Avoid the f balls. Can you spin and hit those? I don't know. I'm not going to bother trying. Whee! Well, I went further than I meant to. So, I mean, there's a lot going on on the screen right now, but it's it's not quite it's that complicated. It's pretty easy. And we're here already! Well, I mean, we have to break this open, but we are here where the star is. Uh, there's got to be some kind of bullet bill or... S oh, there they are. Come on, bullet bill. Get over here. Break the coins. I guess I'll pick them up. Hurry your horses, man! Break this thing, because I'm not sure... Ugh, don't hit that! Don't hit that thing! Hey, Bullet Bell! Come on! Come on over here! Let's break this thing, because this is the way. Hey, you! Follow me! Hit this thing! No! No! Don't do that! Bullet Bell! Come follow me! Break this thing open! Thank you so much! What does this do? Oh, it's just a... Um, ouch! That was very rude. Why can't I get there? Let's see. There we go. This is some star bits. Lame! Okay, so let's see if we can get this bullet bill to follow us and go around this thing without breaking it. The other one, the one here doesn't seem to want to come out anymore. Maybe I hurt his feelings because I was yelling at him. I don't know. Ah, uh, okay, well, he broke that. Whatever, at least it's out of the way now. Come on! Over this way! You can't get me. Oh, it's gonna hit. It's gonna break. Oh no! no. Okay, I, I remember the other <laughs> the other day when I was doing the episode. I think it was the last episode actually. I was being very stupid and I was thinking that I was. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! I missed that. Okay, well, I don't have any more heart. I, I'm not gonna die here. There's no way I'm gonna let myself die. If I die, oh! Goomba. Okay, that was close. Just hit the thing. Hit the thing. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That was way too close. I was saying, basically I was saying how much I like that mechanic, but man, it's kind of annoying sometimes. Uh, just depends on the level though. I remember one level in particular I really liked it. But anyway, 13 power stars, there are three in an episode, that's not too shabby. So I guess let's, well let's, well, let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. Rosalina wants to talk to us apparently, we can listen to what she has to say. You got a star battle Brock Braj Battle Brock Galaxy. High score updated. Increase your star bit, bit, bounce. I'm starting words with B. It's humorous. <laughs> it seems that the, a prankster comet has appeared somewhere. Well, that's unfortunate. Prankster comets have very strange effects on galaxies. If you want to learn more about these curious comets, ask the Luma who knows about such things. I don't really want to right now. I mean, whatever. Let's talk to him. I can't. Let's just talk to him. Hey, you. You're purple. What's up? Hey, ho! Don't call me a hoe. If you need to go <laughs> get it. If you need to know anything about prankster comments, I'm your Luma. How can I help? Tell me more. That prankster comment is always stirring up trouble, making galaxies go all crazy. Speedy comments, limit the amount of time you can spend there. Daredevil comments, leave you with low life. Cosmic comments, make you race a mirror of yourself. Fast foe comment, oh, this is just way too much information. Make your enemies move faster. Now the fun part is trying to each one out. All right, well, that, that's pretty good. And I have something to say. Bye-bye!